Today. Can't wait to play Titanfall on your PS4? I have bad news. This is Checkpoint. Welcome to Checkpoint, where it turns out my sexy thwomp costume was really cold, and that's my excuse. Sure, but who cares about that because look how long my hair is! I finally have a hairstyle now, so I have a hairband and it's got a bow, it's really cute! I'm a kinder, gentler, softer Kathleen! Yeah. Super. Jonathan Ross, English comedian, television presenter, and video game enthusiast, has been hired by Microsoft Studios as a consultant slash executive producer. He'll be working with the company's UK studios to help them change their thinking and blur the lines between game, television show, and linear media. Yes, who better to help developers understand the rapidly changing intersection of games and entertainment and how to get all of that to appeal to today's youth than a 52-year-old millionaire TV presenter with a mansion and gobs of celebrity friends. EA's in-house developer Victory Studios was, until recently, working on a free-to-play version of Command & Conquer. Unfortunately, based on feedback from the game's alpha build, EA decided not only to cancel development of the title, but to shutter Victory Studios. Now, we don't typically make light of people being laid off, and we do hope everyone at Victory lands on their feet. But how bad was this alpha? Did it break into EA's house and teabag its mom? How could an alpha be so disastrous that EA felt it had no choice but to salt the earth so nothing could be developed there again? My guess? Dick Punch DLC. If you are at all concerned about the PS4 launch lineup now that Watch Dogs got delayed until 2014, worry no more. Angry Bird Star Wars is coming to the next generation. Yes, the game you probably already have on your phone will now be available for a mere $40 on your PS4 or Xbox One. Now, with the added irritation of optional Kinect or PS Move controls. Yes, you're losing both the perfect control scheme for a game of its type and the ability to play on the toilet. Sold! Jagex, the developer of free-to-play MMO RuneScape, had a bit of a problem with gold farmers, as one typically does with an MMO, so they introduced Bonds, a real-world currency like EVE Online's Plex that can be bought and traded within the game, and it has reduced gold farmer revenue by 81% in a mere month. Turns out, people would rather give money to the people who actually make the game rather than random shady dude from the internet. Microsoft recently announced the much-anticipated game Titanfall, from former Infinity War devs Respawn, will be Microsoft exclusive forever, available only on Xbox One and PC. Now, it was previously assumed that any Xbox exclusivity would be temporary and Titanfall would eventually see the light of day on PS4. At least that's what the developers thought, because that exclusivity deal was brokered by Electronic Arts, and Respawn only found out when the rest of us did. So why this change? I'm betting it starts with an M and ends with unny. Oh, 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 I've got it. It's my goodness, EA. I would just love it if Titanfall were exclusive to our console only. What do you say, honey? No. No? I thought I had it. Oh, money. It's money. Got there. Coming up, Sony has released PS4 games and controllers two weeks ahead of the console itself, presumably so they can squeeze you for two paychecks rather than one. 